Hello and welcome to Mile High Reefers. I'm Scott Anderson and probably the biggest news of the year is out today. The Pacific Blue Tang has been bred in captivity and successfully raised. These things are to the point where it's likely that they're going to be adult fish. This is fantastic news. For the sake of our hobby, the more captive bred fish we get, the better off we are. Also, captive bred fish are usually healthier and do better in captivity than their wild caught counterparts. So this is really important to everybody who's ever wanted a blue tang and everybody who wants a blue tang 20 years from now, 10 years from now, whatever the time frame turns out to be. So how did this all happen? About six years ago, SeaWorld Bush Gardens Conservation Fund approached the University of Florida's Tropical Aquaculture Lab to look into the captive breeding and raising of Pacific Blue Tanks. So they have this new program where they're going to research the captive breeding of Blue Tanks. So the first thing they do is get some Blue Tanks from a wholesaler, put them in a greenhouse setting. I can only imagine that it has to do with the moonlight effects and the gravitational pull of the moon and all that. I really don't know. But it turned out that getting blue tangs to spawn in captivity was actually really easy. At night, the blue tangs would regularly spawn. The next day, they could skim the surface of the water with a net and collect the eggs. So the hard part is getting fish grown that just has from an egg up to a sellable size. And that's always been the problem in this hobby is it's easy to get them spawned, hard to get them to hatch. So for the next six years, they worked on the problem and they got better and better with every time. They got them up to 28 days and they thought they were doing pretty good, but they couldn't get beyond that. Then eight months ago, everything changed. Dr. Chad Callen and his team in Hawaii successfully captive bred and raised yellow tanks. This was a game changer for everything. So the University of Florida team met with Dr. Chad Callen and his team and they came up with a plan. And long story short, their plan worked. They now have blue tanks that look like they can make it all the way up to sellable size. This is fantastic news. It's not over yet. With any luck, the researchers will be able to perfect this technology so that it's reliable and hopefully they can scale it to an industrial size. These fish are needed on an industrial scale and will have to be produced on an industrial scale and will have to be competitive with their wild caught counterparts. So hopefully in the future all of this can happen and with any luck what we've learned from yellow tangs and blue tangs will transfer to other tangs and other fish in this hobby. Rising Tide Conservation's Facebook page has a full article on how this happened. They do a much better job explaining how this was done than I ever could. I found out about this article because ReefBuilders.com posted an article on their Facebook page. So definitely read their article, linked down below. Like ReefBuilders Facebook page, subscribe to their YouTube channel, and check out their website. They're always putting out really cool articles on the marine aquarium hobby. They'll keep you up to date on what's going on in the hobby and they're always giving great information. So check them out. Anyways, this is the biggest news I've heard in a long time. I'm really excited to see how captive breeding and raising of blue tangs goes. So like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.